Hello there. It is Wednesday and something immensely uh, worth talking points happened this morning. Actually, a bunch of things happened this morning and one thing happened last night. And I'm going to talk to Alyssa about the thing that happened last night with the Texas thing. Cause I'm still confused as to what happened. And then we will probably also talk about DOMA. And if I'm going to be talking about gay marriage, it better be best from the bridge of my Prius. So, yeah. I have no idea. It's Alyssa now. I have no idea what went on with the Texas governess lieutenant thing. I don't know. Her Tumblr exploded last night. What did it explode about? Okay, so the whole point was they were voting on a bill that would have essentially closed down all but five abortion clinics in Texas. They were going to make it illegal to have an abortion after 20 weeks because one of the senators decided that fetuses can feel pain at 20 weeks, which is bullshit and has no scientific backing. Anyways. Um, okay. The, I read the science on it. They think that you, you start to form nerves at 20 weeks, but they don't think you feel actual pain until 24 weeks, which is oh. the current cutoff. Okay. 24 weeks. Anyways, so the... Wendy Davis is a senator in the minority in the Texas Senate, so she has the ability to filibuster this. So yesterday at about 11 a.m. Is she Republican or Democrat? She's Democratic. Democratic. Duh, Republican, it's Texas. It's That's Texas. the minority. Repu the, the Republicans are the majority there. They were going to vote on it. It was going to pass. Governor What's His Bucket says that he was going to sign it if it got oh, to his office. Oh, that's it's the, Rick something. No, not Santorum. The other guy. It's Rick. The um, guy who ran for Republican president. Rick Perry, yeah. Perry, Perry. 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 Perry's the governor, and he said if it gets to him, he will he will just sign it. So she said, screw this. I'm not letting them close down all these clinics, because half the clinics weren't even abortion clinics. Any medical office or medical clinic that provided abortion services was going to get so shut down. So people of color, uh, poor people, poor women. No, no. They would lose. They'd lose medical care. So she decided to filibuster it, and the filibusters, you have to talk until the end of the session, which is at 11.59 at night. Oh, I read the rules that, like, someone had posted the rules that they yeah. have to stay standing, they can't lean on the podium, yeah. they can't take food breaks, they can't take bathroom breaks, which is she, probably why I thought somebody had And the stupid thing leaked. is, yeah, no, the stupid thing is, is that filibusters have happened a billion times. Oh, that happened in... <laughs> like, in the Senate, or like, in Congress, someone filibustered by reading out of the phone book. But they wouldn't let her do that. She had to be on topic the entire 13 well, hours. Well, I, be I believe that that's part of the Texas one. It could be, yeah. D anyway, Each state has their own she filibustering She had to rule. stand there for 13 hours. She got a... It's a three strikes you're out thing. If you get three warnings, they end the filibuster. Okay. She got a warning for someone trying to put a back brace on her because her back was hurting so bad. Um, she got interrupted at one point by, by one of the other senators... And then what happened is they were real, we were about an hour from the end. Another female senator has shown up from her father's funeral. And I can't remember her name. She's a, a Latina senator in Texas. And she says, the, and she's trying to get the president's attention because they're allowed to speak in between if, like, they have a point they want to bring up. And finally, she says the words, or, well, okay, I can't remember the exact quote. You can Google it. But she said something to the effects of, why is it that I have to speak up? and raise my hand to be heard over my male colleagues. And the floor went bonkers. And they tried to call everyone to order and the people that were up in the stands started screaming liberty over and over and over again because he was saying that this was her third strike, the filibuster was done. So the crowd filibustered. They did not shut up until after midnight. And then they did an illegal vote. Okay. The president and the ones that were gonna vote for the bill, they didn't tell anyone what they were voting for. They voted for the bill after midnight and then people took screenshots of the legislative the legislative website will show you the timestamps for anything passed in senate the timestamp was for 1102 or 1202 uh june 25th because it was that session they then went in and changed it to the 26th the date to the 26th by this morning they said okay fine the bill is dead you know, they have to wait two more years before they can try this again. Pretty much anyone following it on Tumblr just exploded. And now that I've dropped a list off at home, um, so involving the DOMA thing happening that happened earlier this morning, at least my time, um, I'm, that doesn't actually affect me here in Oregon. Speed bump. Yeah, <laughs> it, because we, as I've said before, we've constitutionally written it, it just is not allowed. 
and you can't change the constitution but what every like 10 years or something and that was done in 2004 you know i voted not to have measure 36 go through when i lived in oregon when i lived over in troutdale and so i just am like okay we'll be patient but is it a step along the way yes it is a generalized step on the path to marriage equality but sometimes the fanfare is a little bit overdone considering we still have what 30 states that are that still don't have marriage equality so i will catch you all tomorrow and hopefully you know let's strike up a conversation downstairs pew, pew. there's a unless there's haters that want to find this video and poop all over it but you know that's that i will chit chat with you all tomorrow bye I always have to fix my hair. Me? I don't care. I know I'm fuzzy. <laughs> well, no, it's because I don't have any gel, uh -huh. so I need to make sure it's not looking like the other kid because the way I get it cut, I don't need to have... Yours isn't like plastered, to the, like so short plastered to the front of your hair that it doesn't That's, look like a bowl. This is what I was... Yeah. I was trying to avoid, yeah, so I'm no. like... Your, your hair poofs some. You have volume. That, that kid had no volume. <laughs> None whatsoever. He has helmet head, literally. It's helmet head. Anyways. My brother used to get that haircut. So.